Hello everyone, my name is Ronak and you're watching VictorWatt. So in today's video, we will try to recreate this nearby share app by Google uh, with basic drag and drop uh, functionality and uh, file browsing capabilities. Uh, we will try to create this app using WPF and we will use to, uh, Visual Studio Blend to design this app. Uh, so let's get started. And for those who haven't subscribed to my channel, uh, please do subscribe to my channel. It means a lot and it motivates me to create more such videos. So moving ahead, let's fire up Visual Studio Blend first and let's click on create a new project. I'm going to select WPF application from my recent templates, but you can uh, search here if you do not find it in your recent templates. And uh, let's click on next. Let's give this project a name. Say and buy. And let's, uh, let's not change the framework. And uh, click on create. Okay, so we have our window ready. So let's make some changes to the width and height of this window. So I'm going to change the width to say 500. So let's make it 600 and see how it looks. Let's run the application once to check the size of the window in real time. Uh, let me increase the width and height by 50 points. 550. I think this should do. Let me verify again. Okay. Uh, okay, so let's start by adding a text block first. And let's name it device name. We need another text box right below this. This will be the PC name. Let's change the text properties. Let's change the word height, uh, font size, and other details. Let's make this 24. And let's change this as well to say 18 points this looks good next we need some icons here on the top so let's start by using this rectangle here or we can go with an image as well so let me search for an image or you can go for a button so let me delete this and instead let's use a button and uh, let's go to the button properties let's say change it to 30 points and let's change the background of this brush uh, button to to the icons that i have downloaded so let's say mark and i think i will have to get rid of the content and let me change the fill uh, let me remove the border to none and uh, let's change the background fill to say uniform to fill so we have a first button here uh, next let's duplicate this uh, let's first uh, change this properties here that i have added so let me go here and remove this margin that i have because I have dragged and dropped, the margin is automatically set. So let me change the alignment first to this and the top, and then let's set the margin and then on the left. So let's do the same for this. So this looks already good, so I'm not going to change this. But for this button, I think uh, there is a considerable amount of margin. So let's make this zero first, 
let's change the alignment to right and top and then uh, add a margin of say 15 on the top and say let's say how much 100 let's make it 150 okay so now let's copy this button and paste it again and this time let's say 100 I think I did not copy so let me copy this like this and paste oh, it does not paste so let me copy this here and then paste it okay and then now let's change the margin What's the error there back there? So let me rewrite this and let's do the same for this. So let's say 100 here and top should be 15. So let's make it 80. And let me change the image and the rest same is as is let me also change uh, the remove the border brush for this and the same goes for this okay now i need an uh, ellipse mm -hmm. okay here is the ellipse let me change the width and height to say 50 points let me change, remove the stroke Change the fill to an image. Let me go to some of the images that I have downloaded. Let's say uniform to fill. And then let's change the margin to zero, zero. Change the alignment and uh, now let's set the margin top to 15 let's say change it to 10 and 20 on the side i think um, we need a margin of 15 and i need to change a margin of say 30 here mm. so 24 is the right value let me do the same for this button and there we have now next uh, let's create a rectangle and uh, let's change the border of this rectangle and change the radius to 32 and let's increase the size of this rectangle and change the fill to white and let's remove the stroke before that let's go to this window and uh, change the background color to a bluish tint i think this looks good and then we have a rectangle here and let's change the margin to zero alignment to left bottom and once I have it set, I don't need these uh, borders. So let me move it out of the window by increasing the margins here to negative value. And let's make it to 60 and same goes here, I guess. And also let's make the width same as the height. Okay. I think we can spare a few more. A 
50 is fine, I believe. I think this looks good. Let me run this application once and see it in action before we uh, start doing the other changes. Okay, uh, I think this looks good. I think we need a little more space between these uh, person picture and uh, the settings icon. So let's stop this. Um, select this and 60 was good. And also uh, let's do a couple of changes uh, to the window that we have here. So the first things first, uh, uh, let's change the resize to no resize. I do not want the window to be resized and let's set the start position to center screen. Now let's run this application one more time. And uh, this looks perfect. So um, I have a couple of things to add now on the window before we go move to the code. So let's go to NuGet Package Manager and first install the uh, toolkit uh, handy controls, which will help us in some of the uh, nice looking controls. So let me search for handy controls. Select the first one, include it in your project and install. Accept the terms and this will give you a code snippet on how to implement it. Let's copy this and let's go to solution explorer and on the app.xml let's copy this here paste this here and let's also include this namespace on our main window let's save this and then go back to your main window and so that is done now uh, we can go to the page So under extended controls, you will find this control combo box. We can use the regular combo box, but I like this combo box. You will also have a nice documentation here. I need a combo box, something like this. So I'm going to take this first combo box from here. Hope I've copied the right one. Copy this, go back here and let me place it within the grid. So I have this combo box. Uh, let me remove this error. For some reason it is not supported but yeah i have the combo box now and i think i will have to set the width and height of this combo box first so before that let's say the width is 100 100 would be too small sorry let's make it 200 and let's say the height is 30 points i think this looks fine and uh, yeah and let's change the margin. So let's first change it to zero. Change the alignment to left, top, and then let's set the height or the top margin to say 100. Make it 120 maybe, not sure. Yeah, 110 is fine. And let's give a left margin of say 15. I think this looks good. Uh, let's go to the properties of this and set the items that we want. So let's add a list box item here. So instead of a list box item, why do we let's add a combo box item? And then let's give this item some value. Let's see from contacts would be my first item. The next item would be you see from everyone and the last item would be receive from 
your devices click on ok uh, let me make some cosmetic changes like the foreground i do i want it to be blue and let's run this application and see it in action before we make any more code changes okay so looks good nice so now you see why i love this combo box because it looks beautiful uh now let me close this and let me add a text block here okay uh, so here so and next let's go back to the handy controls uh, extended controls uh, documentation and let's take a dash border from here and here is the code for this let's copy it window and below this grid before that let's see uh, what is the margin set for this so looks fine so i'm not going to change this um, let me paste this dash border here uh, the height and width i think the width should be say 300 height should be 200 or maybe 150 and um, border thickness is fine border brush should be somewhere in this gray and let's change the border dash array to two because i need finer uh, dashes and i will change the corner radius to say 20 and now for the position of this dash border uh, let's align it to right bottom and then from here let's increase the margins I think I can go and increase the width a little and then adjust the margins here and I think this looks perfect I think the color of the border is little darker I need something more light so it does not pop that much on the UI and looks perfect so next uh, we will add some controls uh, and let's start with a text block and let's remove this margin here and uh, let's set the width and height to say 300 uh, say 350 same as the box that we have here and uh, height to say 200 and uh, alignment to left bottom increase the right i think the height is too much let's decrease it a bit to say 150 and then move it up and to the side uh, also uh, the text alignment i want it to be center okay looks good uh, i think uh, i will have to change the font to say semi bold and uh, font size to 16 i think would look nice let's make it for 14 and uh, remove the default text that i have and okay uh, also for this uh, name here that we have i will make it to semi bold let me revert but i think it is uh, too loud so let me change it back to how it was 
okay so we have a text block let's give this a name because we will need it later when we code txt and uh, now oh, let's add let's copy this button that we have here uh, let's not add a button let's add an image this time so let's select an image and place it here anywhere is fine let's remove the margin that we have let's set the width and height to say 30 let's browse for an image so uniform to fill and uh, let's set the alignment to bottom and now let's set the margins I think this looks fine let's make it 170 and uh, now next let's add a text so what text do we need here so drop files or folders to send so that is the text that we need so let me copy this text block from here down here paste it here and then let's remove this margin that we have let's change the text drop files or folder to next let's change the font size to say 16 width let me leave the width as is and uh, let's now set the margin and first change the alignment to bottom left and then i think we'll have to increase the width to fit also change the alignment of the text to center this time change the font to semi bold and now uh, let's set the margin i think let's change it to 70 and also use this a bit okay uh, so far so good uh, let me run this again and see it before we move on okay so it looks good stop this application and move on to adding a button here okay so we have a button uh, let's call it select file and uh, select files and uh, let's remove this margin let's change the alignment let's change the width to say i think let's uh, let the width and height be auto let's change the alignment first and then set the margins this looks good now um let's remove the background change the border brush to say border brush for sorry I should have been the foreground instead and not the border brush I should remove the border brush and uh, let's change this to semi bold and change the font size to say 16 okay so we have a first button ready now let me copy this and paste and uh, let's change this to or and let's change the width to say 50 and 
margin. Let me change the margin for this as well. Before that, let me copy this and paste. Or I can do this instead. So this will be select folder. And uh, the rest has to change. So alignment to the left, bottom. 50, 51 and 232. So this should be 51. No doubt in that. And 45 looks good, but let me bring it a bit closer to the text. And then this one also should be a little closer. And this too. think this looks good now uh, we have all our elements ready uh, let me run this one last time before we go back go to the code behind one last thing that we need to do is change the window title and that would be nearby let's go to the code behind uh, let's also change the button names first. So name in okay. So let's go to the code behind. So first things first. Let's set uh, the text block that we have below the combo box to the value at the start. So our text box is txt file name, uh, sorry, it's not file name. So let me rename this, not rename, set a name here first. Let's see info for this. And also go to our combo box that we have here and set a name. And uh, next, so we have a button here. So let's on click of this button. Let's uh, create an open file dialog variable. And then let's fill this label with the value that we have selected. So in this case, it's not a label. Uh, we will be using our text box file name dot text. So this is done. So let's save this, run this first and see if this uh, open file dialog works as expected. So let me click on this, let me select a file, say open and we have a file name. Uh, also, now let's go to our combo box here. And let's go to the combo box events and on the selected so on selection changed uh, we have to set this text info so when it is one uh, i need to set this text and for two i need to set this text so let me run this try changing the values and we have the different text based on the values that we are selecting um, last thing that we have to do is add the drag and drop feature. So to do that, we'll have to go to our window here, set the allow drop to true. And next is the drop functionality. And let's create a new event handler.
and if you go to the code behind we have a drop event handler so we we'll create and uh, we'll check if the file is present when we drop and then what whatever we have dropped we'll take the files that we have dropped and then we'll take the file name using the uh, get file name method and then populate that file name to our text box info text box so this is the code save this and run our application so uh, let me open my folder let me see if i have some files here in the documents and let me copy this and try to drag it and paste okay uh, i've done one small error here instead of uh, i've given the wrong uh, text box so go back here and let's change it to txt file name and let's run it one more time let's select this file let me show it Uh -huh. so that's it guys hope you all like watching this video if you do please please do subscribe to my channel and stay tuned till then bye bye